Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. So this is the final box in this series and this is so much fun and it's so exciting to share this with you. This box came from Dollar Tree. It is the Spells and Hexes box. So we are gonna decorate the inside of this one just like we did the other two boxes. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, then <laughs> pause this video, go back two videos, and you'll see where it all began. So far, I've done a potion box, a spell box, and this is gonna be a spell and hexes box. So I started with some doll furniture. I already had the table stained from a previous project. So now I'm just taking the doll bed and I'm gonna pop off the little, you'll know, anybody who's bought these beds, it has like a little ridge on both ends. Just pop that off. And the doll bed and this table fit in the box perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue and secure both these pieces in the box. I'm trying to make kind of a different piece of furniture. I've used doll furniture in the other boxes. And as I previously said before, I wanted all three boxes to be different. So I thought this would mimic maybe like a hutch looking piece. <laughs> I did put it off to the side because I have plans for that space. So while the box is already hot glued, I mean the furniture <laughs> is hot glued in the box, now I'm gonna stain it. It was just easier than less messy to just stain it in the box because you're not gonna see it anyway. The more coats of stain you put, the darker it gets. So see, now these two pieces go together really nicely. Now it's time to start having fun. I took a little votive battery operated candle from Dollar Tree and I'm taking one of the Dollar Tree bottles, not the smallest one, probably the medium size hot gluing it over the votive. I want to make, not necessarily a candle, just a creepy like lantern for this box. Because when I think of like spells and hexes, I think of real dark and gloomy kind of creepy lighting. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm adding hot glue around the base of the candle and I'm also adding hot glue around the top. I grabbed a little ball off of floral and added that to the hot glue. Now I'm gonna paint the top and the bottom black to give it kind of a creepy lantern look. <laughs> and there's all my little minis I've made so far. I have them in that little drawer. And they're, what's nice about when I did my tablescape, I didn't hot glue anything down. So I can reuse those. And the glow from that is just amazing. So we're gonna let that dry and come back to it. I grabbed one of those smaller bottles from Dollar Tree that have the metal looking lid. And we're just gonna make a little spooky cloche <laughs> with one of these skeleton hands. Uh, no skeletons were hurt in the making of these videos. <laughs> they were already gone. So <laughs> I am going to paint this guy white because Dollar Tree Skeleton Garland has like a dingy brown color and I wanted a white skeleton. I just grabbed one of those Dollar Tree foam houses, um, haunted houses, and cut it up a little bit because it was the perfect thing to put in the lid. I needed height. I couldn't just glue the hand to the lid because you wouldn't see it. So I needed to put a little foam in there so I could glue the hand on top of the foam keeping away from the edges because you still want the bottle to attach to the lid. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> so cut your foam, but don't cut it perfect. You want gaps so that that glass part will screw back on. Hopefully that's clearer. And then I took my little skeleton hand and glued him to the foam. So cute. Oh, I love making cloches for Halloween. Once I had the hand exactly where I wanted it, I just came in with a Q-tip and some black paint and kind of went around the bottom of it so you wouldn't be able to tell um, that it was like hot. You could really tell the difference, the separation between the white bottom and the black. So I just kind of put black paint around it so you wouldn't be able to tell. And so cute. Look at the little skeleton cloche. I love it. I love it. 
so creepy it goes perfect with our spells and hexes because this poor dude probably had a hex on him and he lost his hand and then i came in with some black paint and went around the bottom now back to the candle i had put a bunch of hot glue to mimic like candle wax coming down this lantern and I come back in again with black paint and I go all over the hot glue that I put, top and bottom. That way it kind of brings in that top piece with the bottom and it just makes it look like a really cool lantern. So now I'm going to go in my little box of trinkets that I've collected through the years. Most of these are items Dollar Tree sells, but I had already taken out of the package and used maybe one or two. So I'll throw them in this little handy purple pencil box just to keep them on place so I grabbed some bones and again they have that yellow brownish hue to them I want them brighter than that so I'm going to paint the bones white I also grabbed a little witch hat two of the bones I'm going to paint white and one bone I'm going to paint black now the white bones are going to be used as pieces of the furniture, but the black bone I'm going to turn into a witch's broom. And it's so easy to do using these bones. All you got to do is wrap a whole bunch of twine around your fingers, kind of like you're making a tassel, and then pull it slowly off your fingers and guide that bone in the middle. And then just take another piece of twine and go around the top of it, leaving a little gap. Tie it around. You can go around um, as many times as you want around the top. And then cut the bottom. And look at that. The cutest little witch's broom. And it's so easy to make. I went my stash and just grabbed a little bit of floral. I thought it would be cute to hang the floral from the bone and then put the bone up on the top of that bed. So it's kind of like herbs because I think when I think of like spells and hexes that she's mixing up potions and grinding up herbs. So I thought it would be cool to just put some twine around a few pieces of floral and then kind of feed it around that bone and then hot glue the bone to the bed. The white bone with the herbs tied around it, I just added a couple of dabs of hot glue to either end and I hot glued it to the top of the bed. The other bone I used on the bottom of the bed just to make it one cohesive piece. I wanted some spells and hexes scrolls, so I'm just taking some brown crafting paper, crumbling it up in my hand, and using Q-tips to guide the roll. This was a lot easier than trying to freehand rolling this. <laughs> and you can make as many as you want. You can hot glue it around the Q-tip if you want, or you can just use that Q-tip to roll the paper, and then the Q-tip will pull right out at the end. Some of them you can write on if you want, or you can use twine to tie them off in the center. They're just supposed to look like little potion papers um, that you would find at a witch's shop. I bought these mini mirrors off of Amazon, and if you would like to see where I got them, I'll leave that link below. So now I'm going to start assembling this. So I already have my herbs hanging. I put my broom in the corner, and I'm going to put my little skeleton cloche down in the other corner. 
and he just looks so cute down there oh my gosh i absolutely love that little guy and then i'm gonna add my spell scrolls kind of maybe one on top of each other just placing them where i think it looks the most natural i'm going to add my lantern in and i'm going to add one of those little mini mirrors right in the center of that bed so this looks like a I don't know what kind of piece of furniture this looks like, but I just thought the mirror looked really cool <laughs> in the center. I also added a little skeleton. I'm just grabbing pieces. A lot of these pieces I already had. I grabbed some mesh off a bag and kind of went around the mirror just to give it a more creepy, spooky effect. Okay, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing the door. The first way was my original idea, and it was to put that bag that um, was kind of creepy looking. It was a bag that held skeletons in it. And then take some hot glue to glue it on because smashing it down kind of gave it a cobweb look. And then I thought it would be neat to take those mini mirrors and really line the door with them. Um, Oh, I'm going to light up the lantern now that it's totally dry because it's look at how creepy and spooky that looks. I love it. So anyway, I come back with the mirrors and I thought maybe putting some marker on them, like a brown marker just to make them look older. I added some eyeballs to make it look creepy. I wasn't falling in love with the mirrors. No matter how many times I tweaked it, I just wasn't loving the mirrors. But I am going to show you what it looks like finished. Then stay tuned to the end because I'm going to come back in and I redo the door with some craft paper to make it look like curtains. So you let me know in the comments, did you like the mirrors or did you like the curtains? I really would love your opinion on this because I wasn't, I just wasn't crazy about the mirrors and I really thought, you know, I put little eyeballs on them. I really thought it would be like creepy. I guess I didn't like the mirrors with the inside of the box. Um, I like the curtains better with the inside of the box. Maybe the mirrors would have been a great idea if I was doing something different inside the box. I don't know. <laughs> you let me know what you think. So stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Love the lantern. I love the inside of the box. I You already know I'm not crazy about the mirrors, but stay tuned. After I show you all three boxes... I'm going to show you this one up close. I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you all three boxes together and what they look like closed. And then I'm going to show you the other door. So then you can let me know what you think. So you got to watch this video all the way to the end to see the other door on this box. But it's still so cute. I love how all of them are so different and unique. And it's just fun. It's fun to take these boxes and nobody would ex be expecting like a whole scene inside of them. So um, we're going to show you the rest of this one. I'm going to show you all three of them. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to fix that door. So here's all three boxes together. They're both, all three of them are just different, unique. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these boxes and they look awesome close too. It's kind of neat to like have them put on the shelf closed and maybe when family and friends come over, be like, open those boxes, you know? <laughs> so I promised you a different door at the end. So here it is. I glued scrapbook paper to those mirrors and cut around the edges. Then I came back in with the lighter and kind of very carefully lit little 
pieces at a time to give it a real burnt edge and also a jagged edge. Then I came back in with one of those furniture markers and just highlighted that burnt edge. I also came in and drew squiggly lines going down because it makes it look like it's moving, like curtains. Um, kind of dinged it up a little with a brown marker and I put that black witch's hat in the center. Me personally, I think this curtain look goes better with the inside of the box than the mirrors did. <laughs> but either way, it's so cute. I absolutely love these boxes. I hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's free. Hit that button. I love y'all and I can't wait to see you next week. I hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful week and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye y'all.